Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Layton. We begin tonight with Joe Biden's path to the presidency. More than two months before Inauguration Day, the president-elect is getting a head start on addressing the country's biggest challenges, starting with the pandemic. CBS 2's Michael George is in Delaware with the latest. <clears throat> The day after his victory speech, President-elect Joe Biden attended church and stopped by the gravesite of his son, Beau. The people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory. At Saturday night's rally, Biden said he plans to form a COVID task force as new cases in the U.S. continue to reach record heights. The reality is that by the time the president-elect takes office, we'll probably be at the sort of apex, if you will, of what we're going through right now. They're going to take the, the Biden COVID plan that involves robust testing, uh, tracing, and dealing with the economic fallout. After a round of Sunday golf, President Trump tweeted about the election outcome. Since when does the latest mainstream media call who our next president will be. We've all learned a lot in the last two weeks. Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, says lawsuits challenging the 2020 election results will be filed this week. So far, President Trump has offered no evidence of his claims of voter fraud. When he takes office on January 20th, Biden says he'll work just as hard for those who didn't vote for him as those who did. Here in Wilmington, Delaware, where the president-elect is known as Uncle Joe, many told us they've seen firsthand the qualities he'll bring to the White House. It's just so nice to see that just the community coming together behind um, someone who's going to hopefully do so much good for all of us. And with its hometown hero heading to the White House, this city of just over 70,000 is about to get an even bigger place on the political map. Michael George, CBS News, Wilmington, Delaware. All right. Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, yeah, so as you just heard there, okay, you know, going into uh, Biden, all right, uh, Joe Biden pretty much already having those plans for a coronavirus task force. Now, you know, in the, like, in the case that he does become president, which is very likely, or that's what it looks like at least, um, you can imagine that his task force will be different than the uh, the one that Trump had. Okay, his will be more, uh, you know, proactive. You know, as you can, as you heard, robust testing and all these different things. Now that leads me to this article right here. Okay, this is um, from Law.com. All right, a brother had put in the, in the chat, and it says here: State bar passes mandatory COVID nineteen vaccination recommendation all right now before i read into this article all right it's not by coincidence that this came on november 7th and then boom two days later november 9th uh it says here a great day for science and humanity uh visor uh says covid19 vaccine more than 90 percent effective in final trials okay so what is that? What is that? What does that uh, mean? That means that you could see because this is the final trials and it's ninety percent effective. That means you could see a vaccine coming out very soon. You know, some people were saying as soon as uh, uh, Christmas, as soon as December. All right, but let's check this out. It says here, um, the New York State Bar Association on Saturday passed a resolution urging the state to consider making it mandatory for all New York. New Yorkers to undergo COVID-19 vaccination when a vaccine becomes available. And if, uh, judging from this article, it doesn't seem, it seems uh, uh, not far or not long from now. Even if people object to it for religious, philosophical, or personal reasons, okay, which we read an article, um, you know, uh, similar to this a couple months back, but now we're getting closer and closer to the vaccine actually becoming you know reality all right and this is the uh, uh uh the stuff that they're 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 basically coming with that the narrative that they're pushing okay and um yeah i guess that was pretty much it on that all right just it's short but it, it gets the, the message across all right that this is what they're uh, uh um pushing for man now uh what's his name um uh governor cuomo all right already came out and said that yes you know, they, they're basically planning, all right, to, to have all New Yorkers, all right, get that uh, vaccine. Okay. So now, 
Now it comes down to the nitty gritty, okay, of how much hell are you willing to catch not to take an injection, all right? So it says, great day for science. This is from uh, RT News. It says, great day for science and humanity. Uh, Pfizer says, COVID-19 uh, vaccine, more than 90% effective in final trials. All right. It says, a, a vaccine being developed by Pfizer has been found to be more than 90% effective against COVID-19, the pharmaceutical company said. The finding was the result of the first independent analysis of any COVID-19 vaccine in phase three trials, the final stage before com uh, co commercial licensing. You hear that? So now now the next stage is commercial licensing, all right, which a lot of these um, countries have already placed. It's almost like pre-orders, all right, for when these vaccines come out. So it's, it's almost uh, readily available in mass. It says the study found that 94 participants who received the two dose vaccine. Oh, there we go. The two dose vaccine. Okay, so it's not like we told you, it's not going to be a one a one shot or one thing, one, one time thing. You good? But let's see how they do it. We're protected against the disease 20 day, 28 days after their first inoculation. The American uh, firm developed the jab along with Germany's bio and tech. The, the efficacy. Uh, rate is significantly above the 50% effectiveness required by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for a coronavirus vaccine. I'm sorry. So the FDA, uh, uh, um, their their requirement was that it's above or, yeah, that it's 50% uh, uh, effective. So your vaccine has to be basically at least 50% effective. What the hell is that about? So what if it was 60% effective? It's, it's going to pass the FDA uh, uh, requirements. Okay, it says um, we are proud to announce, along with BioNTech or along with at BioNTech underscore group, that our mRNA based vaccine candidate has an interim analysis demonstrated initial evidence. Oh, at an interim analysis demonstrated initial evidence of efficacy against hashtag COVID-19 in participants without prior evidence of SARS-CoV-2 infection. Now, the interesting thing is, this is an mRNA-based vaccine, okay? And mRNA, let's just type it in here. Messenger RNA, let's see, mRNA. Meaning, let's see what they give us. Uh, in molecular biology, messenger RNA is a single-stranded molecule of RNA that corresponds to the genetic sequence of a gene and is read by a ribosome in the process of synthesizing a protein. Um, let's see, mRNA, let's see, what, come on, what does the mRNA do? Yeah, yeah, all right, let's read this. mRNA is a single uh, stranded RNA molecule that, compl that is complementary to one of the DNA strands of a gene. The mRNA is an RNA version of a gene that leaves the cell nucleus and moves to the cytoplasm where proteins are made. All right. And your body basically uses proteins for a lot of things inside you. So you have this mRNA, messenger RNA based vaccination, right? That's going to basically uh, uh, put a certain information or data or whatever that vaccine is going to contain, okay, into. Uh, um, basically, uh, the cytoplasm where your proteins are made. So, this this vaccine is in, is in essence gonna uh, affect how your proteins are made and how your body functions because we're not dealing with just you know surface level anymore. They're dealing with, with genetic level material here. Okay, like it says, it's complementary to one of the DNA strands of a gene. All right, so we're, mRNA is, de is, is, is dealing on a genetic level, and that's what this mRNA-based vaccine is. You know, so what in addition to, as they claim, uh, immunity or protection from COVID-19, is this mRNA going to, you know, what, what other message is it going to put into your, your body, all right, into your genetic code? How is it going to alter that? It will alter it in some way, okay, because that is what mRNA does. It gives the information, all right? So now, 
we don't know exactly what it is because they they ain't gonna come and tell you, hey, by the way, um, this mRNA is gonna contain this in addition to this. It's like when you um when you see a commercial or something and they talk about um these are the benefits and they say it nice and slow and in big letters so everybody can read it. But when it comes to the side effects and, and you know the fine print, they they speak it very fast. You know, side effects may include blah, 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 you know, and in worse severe cases, death. You know, and then. You know, if it's like a a, 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 a a contract or something, you know, here it is 10,000 pages and they hide somewhere in like, you know, the, the, the 9,000 or the 8,076 page, you'll hide some, some, some slick stuff in there. You know, that's what this is. So if you don't know, all right, 100%, but you shouldn't even be taking this vaccine at all, okay? Like, this is something that should be clicking in people's heads. But you got president-elect Joe Biden who's already ready prior to even getting in office. He's already ready to have that task force. Now, I'm it, I'm pretty sure, all right, I'm not saying this is the case, but based on how things are looking, they might, they just might have a vaccine by the beginning of next year, all right, or early next year, or this late this year, okay? Who knows? We have to wait and see, all right? But just know that if Joe Biden is that president at the time, he's the type to mandate it, you know? He's the type to be on some, nah, 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 mandate that joint. <laughs> you know, like like uh, what they're doing in Europe. It says, today is a great day for science and humanity. And one thing you notice, too, is a lot of uh, uh, um, things seem to be going well for people who are in the world, people who are asleep, that is. You know, they finally got rid of Trump. They, uh, 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 you know, things are looking better. We can expect better. Joe Biden is making all these good promises. Now we're getting good results from, from this uh, uh, COVID vaccine. Man, things are just looking great, <laughs> you know, but people are now starting to what? Let their guard down, you know, because now they don't have to constantly fend for themselves. They have somebody who's willing to do it for them, you know, so they can now start letting their guard down and, you know, taking that their sigh of relief and whew, but that's exactly what the Lord wants you to do. That's, that's the ultimate setup. Okay. It says, um, the first set of results from our phase three COVID-19 vaccine trial uh, provides the initial evidence of our vaccine's ability to prevent COVID-19, said Dr. Albert uh, Bo Borla, uh, Pfizer chairman and CEO. We are reaching this critical milestone in our vaccine development program at a time when the world needs it most, with infection rates setting new records, hospitals nearing overca uh, overcapacity, and economies struggling to reopen. So now that just put much more importance on the vaccine okay the cup so it's like it's like the vaccine coming at a at a no better time you know like this is the perfect time the vaccine could come out you know and you're gonna say no you ain't gonna take it what you know that's how they're gonna play it. <coughs> it's a lot here so it says um the company said it will share additional efficacy and safety data in the coming weeks it said uh it said it expects to produce up to 1.3 billion doses of the vaccine next year in the United and, and who's going to be president next year to make sure that that those vaccines get to the people. It says in the United States, Pfizer expects to seek broad emergency use authorization of the vaccine for people aged 16 uh, to 85 to secure this. It will need to have collected two months of safety data on around half of the studies uh, rough 44,000 participants. The company did not share precise detail on how many of those who fell ill received the vaccine. Pfizer and Bio BioNTech have a $1.95 billion contract with the U.S. government to deliver 100 million vaccine doses beginning this year. The companies have also reached uh, supply agreements with the European Union at the U.K., Canada, and Japan. All right, so now... Depending on how they play the narrative with the COVID, all right, if it just spikes out of nowhere and, you know, come December, January, you know, you're looking like hell, looking like, uh, uh, what's that name? The songbird, okay, <laughs> then, you know, it'll be, it'll be, uh, uh, you know, I guess in their sense, more, more easy for them to come down with that great wrath, because they will come down with that great wrath, all right? <clears throat> Let's get that, Revelation uh, 12 and 12. Okay, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, all right, <clears throat> which are the, the, the heavenly host, all right, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, the angels, 
all right? Pre, uh, Israelites that are passed over, all right? Really, everybody uh, that's not here is in the, is in the uh, you know, the, the, the spirit world, the heavens. It says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the, de because why? Because the, the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea are the ones that are about to go through Jacob's trouble. For the devil has come down onto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right, that's why they move it fast. Okay, that's why they 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 are like yo get that get, get Trump out of there, man. Put 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 somebody else in there. All right, and let's 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 pick this thing up because look, we want prophecy. They want new world order. All right, and to an extent, their new world order is a part of prophecy. So the more we hasten the day, the more they hasten the day as well. You know. We hasten in the day where the Lord comes back. They hasten in the day where they can set up their new world order. But in the midst of that is when the Lord's going to come back. So, you know, that's, it's like, it's not like, you know, we're, we're forcing it because they, they want their new world order very, they want it fast. They don't want to waste time on it. They barely got time as it is. You see how old they are? All right. Jacob Rothschild and all them, man. All right. Look at this guy. Let me, let me pull up this picture. Watch him take down, take down this video for that. <laughs> and they claim it was against the... Uh, uh, you know, a guideline, something like that. I look at it, look at this guy's head, man. <laughs> that got to be edited, man. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh damn. Okay, so uh, look at this guy, man. That these are this is a part of the people that rule. All right, Job nine and twenty four. These are the people, man. All right, that are making your laws and your legislations and all of that. These are the people behind the scenes that you don't know about. All right, these are the people behind your Joe Bidens and your Trumps and all these. That that's them. Yes, they old asses. Okay, and they want to put microchips inside all of you. They want to force vaccinations inside all of you. Okay, they want to enslave you. This is them. All right, these old ass, Edomite ass devils all right you know so that was pretty much it all right uh lord willing you were edified we're coming into some evil days man so we got to make sure we remain in circumspect we're remaining vigilant and we're remaining diligent in the spirit all right so in closing i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rukah kudash until next time shalom